back dear learners in this final segment let us understand the role of the organizing committee members and the press corps in a model un conference the press corps or the international press is made up of participants that operate as journalists the simulating the role of the fourth state that is played by the media in political affairs worldwide the press corps is generally treated as a single committee with individual delegates or a group of two delegates each representing various international news channels like al jazeera bbc cnn among others each of these channels is tasked with covering each committee's internal discussions report on the representatives official statements or comments interview representatives and articulate their findings through a document that is presented to the committee head at the end of each day these documents are then taken by the press committee head edited published either on the conference's official websites or social media platforms or on a news report which is printed on a document that is released at the end of the conference for such conferences the registration for the press corps is done simultaneously with the delegate registrations where the applicants must mention the press corps or the international press as their committee of choice with the other general model un committees during the registration some model un conferences treat the press corps as the part of the organizing committee where the entire press corps is led by a press head and each press member is allotted one committee each to report on these reports are then sent to the head after the end of each day which are then consolidated and published for such conferences press corps registrations occur separately from delegate registration with a separate form for applying the application form would be similar to a delegates form but with the difference of not having the option to choose the committee one would be reporting from however these members will be informed about their committee before the committee session begins the united nations organization through its systems and procedures ensures that it provides an equal space for all the members to express their views on any agenda of any committee they are part of thus respecting the sovereignty of the member states who are represented by the delegates similar respect to the state sovereignty is also seen in other international organizations coming to areas like the national parliaments the members of these national political organizations also have rights to express the needs of the people they represent so much so that the members get legal immunity on any controversial or sensitive statements one might make thus no organization itself has the power to hold these representatives accountable as they act as a platform for expression of the interests of those who are being represented these representatives have a right to make statements of all kind and here comes the role of the people and the media who generally hold these representatives accountable for their words and actions both in the national and international organizations in a model un setting where there are no people or government components to hold the delegates accountable the international press members are tasked with this role to handle these responsibilities the international press members should be well versed with the agenda and should be clear about the stance of each and every committee member the ip members should also work via writing short points in the committee and develop these points into whole reports after the committee session the interviews with the delegates should be intimated to the delegates beforehand via chats and should be scheduled during the conference breaks such as high tea or lunch breaks to avoid taking committee time and disrupting lobbying efforts the news reporting should not only be about the statements made by the delegate but also should cover the lobbying efforts blocks and deals between the members in order to ensure a holistic reporting of the committee process the organizing committee the organizing committee is generally made up of two parts one is the members who take care of the happenings within the committee from passing chats between the delegates to keeping the committee dais members informed about the schedule of the conference and any changes to it they also help in social media teams assist delegate registrations and in case of online conferences take care of any possible technical errors during the committee proceedings the second part is the oc heads who are in many conferences treated as an extension to the secretariat and come under the secretary general these heads direct the oc members and allot them committees they also act as crisis heads during simulated kidnaps hostages or terrorist crisis and often direct the crisis updates along with the committee dais members of a committee 
in many conferences these oc members are tasked with proofreading crisis directives and draft resolutions thus assisting the committee dais members in the process an oc member follows a rather easy and more simple process than being a delegate where an applicant must fill a simple form to become part of the organizing committee a oc head is generally a post given to the participants coming from the parent organization and participate in the conference's organization from the very beginning one can be oc head at their school or college is organizing a conference the world of model united nations conferences is deep and dynamic and can only be fully explored with one's personal experiences and participation this course aim to provide you with an understanding of these conferences with an aim to expose you to the ideas and goals of these simulations the experiences and the skills learnt in these conferences are with the participants throughout their life following them in their academic and professional lives and in this course we have attempted to give you a taste of these model un experiences aimed at making you familiar with its skills and dynamics that might be useful for you in your life we hope that these past 4 weeks have not only encouraged you to participate in a model un conference and enhance your confidence to participate in one but also have helped you to develop a new perspective towards the world around you in understanding the importance of diplomacy and negotiation in the chaotic world we live in thank you